Hollow fam, and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. I'm Dave, and growing up, my grandmother taught me the beauty of comfort food. So today, we are going to show you how to make chicken and dumplings with homemade noodles. Now, I guarantee you that making this recipe is going to cause your family to say, Please, sir, I want some more. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. We're going to jump right in here and start our noodles. First, I need two cups of flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to stir these together to get them mixed. To that, I'm going to add two whole eggs and two egg yolks. And mix this together. Now I'm kneading the egg into the flour as much as I can, but it's still a little dry, that's okay. What we're going to do is add a little bit of water to it and keep going. We got ourselves a nice dough ball here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this out into a little disc and then we're going to wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Okay, an hour later we're going to unwrap our dough ball. And I'm going to roll this out on the counter. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to cut it into four pieces. So we have actually four dough balls. I'm going to roll each one of these out into a little sheet. I want to roll these out until they're about an eighth of an inch thick and as close to a circle as I can get them. Once I have four little discs here, I'm going to stack them on top of each other with a little flour in between to keep them from sticking. And then I'm going to cut this into 3 8 inch strips, four at a time, and just lay them out. Okay, now that these are done, I'm going to separate them and lay them out flat until we're ready to use them. Now we're going to make chicken soup. In a large stock pot filled with boiling water, we're going to add about a pound and a half of boneless skinless chicken thighs. The thighs are ideal for soup because they have a mixture of light and dark meat and they cook up really nice and tender. So we're just going to dunk these in here. Then bring that back to a boil and let it boil for another 10 minutes. At the end of 10 minutes we're going to take the chickens out of the water and just set them aside to cool. While the 
chicken cools, we're going to add two cups of diced onions back into the water, two cups of sliced celery, and two cups of sliced carrots. And we're going to bring this back to a boil and let that simmer for at least 20 minutes. While our veggies are simmering, I'm going to start pulling apart this chicken, discarding any excess fat or any tendons or anything like that. Okay, after our veggies have boiled for 20 minutes, we're going to add back in our shredded chicken. along with four to five chicken bouillon cubes for a little extra flavor. And we're going to bring this back to a boil and let it simmer for another five minutes. Okay, you remember those noodles we made earlier? Here's where they come in. We're going to throw these in here right now. couple at a time. And once these are all in here, I'll stir them occasionally and let them boil out for 10 minutes. What we have here, folks, is some really amazing chicken noodle soup with big, hearty, homemade noodles. But we're not done yet. I still have dumplings to put in, so that's what we're going to do next. To make fluffy dumplings, we're going to start with two cups of Bisquick baking mix. And to that, we're going to add two-thirds cup of cold milk. and just stir it together. What we end up with here is a really soft dough and feel free to add a little more milk if you need it to be softer and then we're going to add it to our soup. We're going to add this one spoonful at a time to our boiling liquid just like that. until we have all of the dough used up. Once all my dumplings are in, I'm going to let this simmer for 10 minutes uncovered. Finally, we're going to cover this and let it simmer again for another 10 minutes. And we're done. Lift this off of here. You just want to remove this from the heat and let it sit for at least 10 more minutes or so to cool before serving because it's still boiling hot. Wrapping up today, I want to ask, what is your favorite comfort food? Be sure to comment below. And lastly then, I want to leave you with these words from Walt Whitman. Keep your face always toward the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for future shows.